Today we're going to make an outdoor sofa. It's a real simple structure with steel sides and a seat and back made out of 2x6s, resulting in a simple modern frame that accommodates outdoor cushions like these from Home Depot, or sleek modern cushions for indoor use from our cushion company, The Simple Cushion Co. I'm using steel angles to construct the sides. I measured out my lengths and then cut the pieces using my angle grinder. I'll put links to the measurements I used in the description. I cut the pieces in pairs and then clamped them together and used a flap disc on the angle grinder to make sure they were exactly the same length. I'm making rectangular frames that will serve as both the armrest and the vertical support. So I'm cutting notches in the angle steel so that the pieces will fit nicely together. I try to be as accurate as I can with the cutting wheel, but I err on the side of leaving a little bit too much steel. That way I can just go in with the flap disc and grind it down nice and flush. I'm going to weld the pieces together and I really like these mag switch corner clamps for securing my pieces at perfect right angles. Lately I've switched from my small forney to a bigger one and I'm really enjoying the upgrade. I just tack in the welds at first, check to make sure I'm still nice and square, and then I go back in and reinforce all the seams. All I'm doing here is creating two rectangular frames the exact same size. I went back to the angle grinder with the flap disc to grind out my weld so everything is nice and flush. The seat and back rest supports are at an angle, so I drew that angle onto the angle steel and then cut the pieces with the angle grinder. I use my adjustable mag switch clamp to lock the pieces together with the switchable magnets so that my steel would be held in place while I welded the pieces. Both pieces are at the exact same angle, but I want the flanges on the angle steel facing in opposite directions because these are going to be for the right and left side of the sofa. I want the seat platform to be about 11 or 12 inches off the ground, so I placed the angled support on top of the frame and moved it around till I found the approximate location that I was going for. I then trimmed the first piece so that it would fit the cushion size, and then used that piece to set the dimensions for its matching partner on the other side. Now I just have to weld the angled supports to the rectangular steel frames. I don't mind having welds show on the finished product, but I did try to keep the visible ones nice and consistent, and for the welds on the front face, I ground those nice and flush using a flap disc. I then grabbed my drill and started to drill holes through the angle steel so that I can attach the wood parts. I hadn't figured out the board placement yet, so I just drilled a bunch of holes every few inches or so. I'm working through the design as I make this project, so I wasn't sure if the boards would bend too much in the middle, so I just made another small angle support, just in case I needed it to reinforce the wood parts. I painted the pieces with Krylon Fusion All-in-One Spray Paint. It's a fantastic spray paint that doesn't need a primer, which I really like because it saves me a bunch of time. For the base, I'm using four cedar two by sixes. Cedar is a softwood that holds up really well outdoors, and I'll put a link to my cedar supplier in the description below. I cut the pieces to length and then use mending plates to attach the two by sixes to each other with quarter inch gaps in between. That just means water can flow through it. I now have a one and a half inch thick cedar panel that I place upside down on saw horses, and then I place the steel sides and screwed them to the cedar. So while I did need a sofa for myself, I was also thinking that this project would be a great way to develop a new product for Semi-Exact. Semi-Exact makes DIY projects a lot easier by providing American-made furniture components like hairpin legs or DIY bed kits. So if you want to make this sofa but don't have access to welding equipment, hit up Semi-Exact on Instagram and tell them that you want to see this product in production. I didn't panelize the 2x6s for the backrest, but I did want to structurally test the frame. After jumping up and down on it a few times and seeing a minimal amount of deflection, I decided I didn't need the middle support. 
I will be using this primarily as an outdoor sofa, so I placed on these outdoor cushions that I got from Home Depot and was very pleased with how thick and cushiony they are. Aesthetically though, I like how slim and modern this whole design is, and I think it looks better with our simple cushions from the Simple Cushion Company. These cushions come in both real leather or vegan leather, and we also have some cloth options as well, but these cushions are rated only for indoor use. Now I know metalworking can be a little bit intimidating for DIYers, but we have a whole bunch of DIY sofa designs and I put them all into a playlist and that link is in the description of this video. Check out the links to the cushion company. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye.